Okay, welcome guys to a uh, another quick review. This time I'm going to be going over the Warrior Assault Systems uh, forward opening admin panel. Uh, you can currently buy this from UK Tactical. It's currently at 19.95 at the time of filming this video. Um, and basically, what it is is it is an admin panel that sits on your chest or anywhere else you really want it on your plate carrier slash chest rig. Um, and it's a place to keep stuff that you need for your admin duties, so pens, maps, bits of paper, that sort of stuff. Okay, just going over the basic build quality. Um, it's second to none. Okay, it's made with genuine multi. Get that away. Genuine crime multicam. Um, everything is really well stitched. Um, you know, down to the molly on the back. It's really, really heavy duty stitching. At no point does this look or feel like it's gonna fall apart on you or uh, start fraying or anything like that. So some of the external features it has. Well, that's the first thing you can see. Nice big bit of Velcro to put to morale patches, uh, your call signs, all that sort of stuff, you know, blood types, anything you want. It's also got a handy uh, little pen holder. Um, it does actually come in handy because I've used it like that on a, on a Milsim event I went to. Getting on to, that's pretty much it for the uh, the outside, apart from the Molly system, which is the standard Warrior Assault system style, which is basically feels like a piece of card or stiff plastic, it's flexible but stiff plastic uh, stitched in between the uh, sort of Kondora straps or whatever, nylon strapping. Um, it adds flexibility so you can weave it in and out of the molly but enough rigidity that it's not going to come out on its own because once you've uh, weaved it in and out you can easily bend it round, flick it down and it that locks it in place and it really is secure, it's not going to come out at all, it's not going to shake loose. So going on to the inside, first thing you come to, little piece of velcro obviously to help secure it down and a zip, big heavy duty zip on that, you are not going to break that easily. Inside just a small pocket, probably I don't know, two inches deep and it covers most of the width of the uh, the pa uh, pouch. Put whatever you want in there, something that you want to keep safe, you don't want to uh, lose easily. That goes in there. Now this is where the pouch really comes into it. If I open it, imagine it's on your chest like so. So this is you looking down at it. You pull it open, okay. And this is where it opens out. As you can see, it opens out quite a lot. We'll start down this end. This is all plastic that you can open up. So in here you can put, generally I'd imagine you would put your map in this one um, as it being the biggest, plus it's at the bottom. So when it's open in front of you, that's the easiest one to see. So you'd have your map in this one, for instance, okay? Then you'd have objectives, and then maybe in this one you'd have ID cards, that sort of stuff, um, you know, target ID cards. All these are accessed through the sides, all down the same side. And then on one final pouch, behind this little bit of Velcro, you have another piece, well, another pocket, which is the same size as this uh, window here. And I kept my uh, compass in there. The only thing that sort of let this down for me personally was the lack of decent sized compartment for the writing pad. I had a, I've got a all weather uh, notebook writing pad and it wouldn't fit in this. It would fit in if you opened it up, just laid it, then closed it round, but it wouldn't fit in the pocket. So there was always that worry that it was going to fall out the sides. But apart from that, the build quality is fantastic. Um, the features it's got, 
if you like doing long milk sims where there's lots of different um, objectives throughout the day, the time, that sort of stuff. So you need to keep track of time, you need to keep track of locations, all that sort of thing. It's ideal for that. And for 20 quid, you can pay sort of similar money for just a basic surplus one from, uh, uh, you know, eBay sort of thing. And what you're getting with this is British built and designed and amazing build quality. So definitely worth a buy if you're looking for something a little bit more robust than just your general surplus stuff. Okay, cheers guys.